You're listening to the Anchored at Harbor Park podcast. This podcast is sponsored by You Are the Answer, pure sports nutrition products for the pure effort you put into your training. These products are awesome. We carry them in our gym and our members love them. Super simple, pure, all natural ingredients with delicious flavors. You can learn more about them by visiting their website at www.youaretheanswer.com and remember to use promo code CFHP to get 20% off your first order. Go ahead and subscribe to our podcast on your favorite podcast listening platforms so you never miss an episode. Remember to leave us a review. Doing so helps us reach more and in turn helps us impact more people's lives. Now on with the show. Welcome to Anchored at Harbor Park CrossFit, a show dedicated to helping you find enrichment for the other 23 hours of your day outside of the gym. Here's your hosts, Jason, Dave, and Corian. Welcome back to Anchored at Harbor Park, episode 72. I'm Coach Jason. I'm Coach Dave. Coach Corian. And today we have a very special guest with us. Lynn is our member of the month for August. <laughs> was it July? It was August? August. August. Congratulations. Yay, Thank Lynn. you. Thank you. Um, and why don't you start by just telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, I've been at Harbor Park here for two years, like this week. <laughs> did um, you get your two-year patch? Yes, I did. Right. I pulled it out, <laughs> yes. Um, and, you know, I joined Harbor Park because I saw you guys on Facebook. I saw it was Corian and Nina. Oh. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I had a friend who wanted to come and do CrossFit or wanted to do it with me and kind of was talking me into it. Um, the video that you had was pretty inspiring. Um, you know, just normal people were, were doing it, which I thought was kind of neat. Mm -hmm. um, and she ended up not coming with me, um, but I was able to talk my husband into it. So we joined two years ago. We do miss Carl. We miss Carl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But we get it. He's busy, right? He's got He's things a busy going guy. on. Yeah. So. He loves cooking. He does. Should I have him on the In the Kitchen episode? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Um, you said about me and Nina's video, just talk about like regular people working out at the gym. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the biggest things that my mom always comments on. She's like, oh, they're not all like competitors like you. I'm like, Matt, no, like, yeah, exactly. it's a gym like any other gym. Mm -hmm. People of all ages, um, you know, athletic backgrounds, or, you know, I started CrossFit with like no fitness. Dave would drag me to the gym and I would just be there, <laughs> you know? And I just try to tell people that all the time. And like, just because it's CrossFit doesn't mean it's any different. You know, right. we just have a yeah. huge community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a hard thing is explaining that CrossFit is a methodology, not like a defining thing. Right, right. Like that's, that's uh, it's different because, you know, other gyms, you don't end up in ha having competitions and things. And you guys do have that, but it's not all you do. Right, right, yeah. So, um, you want to take us through your journey over the past two years? I'm sure there's been some ups and mm -hmm. some downs and, you know, mm -hmm. some plateaus and all that mm -hmm. fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was just thinking about it the other day, I, you know, when I first started just hanging on to the bar, mm -hmm. the rig, it was like a couple seconds and my finger would be all nerved and it was hurting. Mm -hmm. And I just couldn't do it for more than a couple seconds. And now, um, you know, I can do many reps of, you know, things at not a high level, but higher than I was, right. of course. So you're progressing to more challenging Definitely movements. progressing, and it's fun. You know, when you progress and get better at something, it just makes it more fun. Mm -hmm. And you, you'll get better at it if you do it. Yeah, I see results is where people want to um, track their progress and, and know that what they're putting in, the effort, is, mm -hmm. is being rewarded. So with that being said, I just want to ask you real quick, like, when you first started and being able to hang on the rig for only a few seconds before, mm -hmm. you know, your grip let out, how did you keep yourself motivated in those early stages that, you know, maybe some could help some other people that are, you know, not seeing the progress yet? Yeah. I think, you know, you kind of go through the practice and then before you do the actual workout, you try to do the practice and then the workout comes and, well, you got to do it a little bit. You know, you're going to do it and you see other people do it and not everybody is going to hang the whole time. Some people are really good and that's kind of neat to watch them, but 
you know, everybody progresses a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of keep doing it. So kind of do like what you can. Yeah, you do what you can. And over time, that's more and, and more and more. Like Dave says, you know, he, is, he always says, you're good at scaling what you need to do to keep going. Right. Yeah. That, that's what's good for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, like two weeks ago, we just did some handstand walking. You're almost getting that. Yeah, that's it's your getting goal. close. Yeah, yeah, that's one of my goals, yeah. <laughs> so I kind of, I have a question for you kind of like what is kind of like what's your motivation because I remember we had a goal session you know probably about a year ago and you mm -hmm. sat down and you're like I want to do a handstand push-up mm -hmm. and you know that's mostly like younger like kids want to do that you uh -huh. know people who are kind of reckless and uh -huh. um you know you're you're an adult you're a little more experienced as we'd say <laughs> um you, we don't really see that a lot uh -huh. so kind of like, what's your motivation to keep progressing and pushing forward i think it, you start doing some moves and you're like oh this feels good i feel like i could do more not sure why i can't yet but it just feels real comfortable so getting handstands doing all that really felt good and i saw there's certain moves that i really want to do i really want to walk on my hands and I really want to do a strict handstand push push up yeah yeah um, and so that's a goal and right. you know I, I don't I think the other push up you guys were doing with handstands where you kind of whip your legs up the kipping, the kipping. yeah that felt a little like unsafe to me I'm sure you know it's not you guys know how to do it but I don't feel like I'm there and comfortable yet right but well, other stuff I feel comfortable with, so... That, that movement is one of the higher risk movements we have, you know. It, it's compromising and, mm -hmm. you know, we, we really want people to be careful with it. Yeah. Yeah, we have it in today's workout. And yeah. I was doing it and, you know, it's, it's hard. When somebody's first doing it, it's like you worry that they're going to come down too hard on their head. Mm -hmm. Because um, that can cause some disc issues in the neck, and obviously we want to protect the spine as right. much as possible. Yeah. So seeing people slam on their neck sometimes is like, ugh. Yeah. Like don't do that. And I, you know, no matter how much I tell people, like press through your arms, mm -hmm. don't come down on your head. Like, and that's what I was doing today. It's like even though your arms are get, starting to give out, it's like you only want to touch your head just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think too, with the kipping, it's it's obviously a dynamic movement. You're moving faster. You're bringing your knees in, so your core is changing, and a lot more things are going through ranges mm -hmm. of motion. Whereas like a strict handstand push-up, you can keep that tension through your core, through your legs, and you're mainly just concentrating on activating and changing your shoulders. Right. So it does make more people feel more stable and in control because mm -hmm. not as many things are moving around right. at the same time. Yeah. There's, yeah. There's less things to pay attention to. Yeah. I think what I love that you want a handstand walk and you want to do a um, strict handstand push up because I think that just makes you total badass. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I love showing that to people. I love showing that, you know, at any age and any prior history level, you can do whatever you set your mind yeah. to. Yeah. 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 And I like age, so. age yeah. doesn't define you. Kind no. Because, mm -hmm. you know, so many people come in all. You know, I've had shoulder injuries, and I just I can't do all of that. Mm -hmm. Well, you probably can. Like, might take some time to work mm -hmm. through some kinks and everything, but then it's not going to happen overnight. Right. And I think it's all about what you want. And um, I think too, what I really love is you're this quiet leader. Mm -hmm. You're here. You're putting in the work. You're doing your stuff every day, and like you said, progressing a little bit more. So then you start trying these higher level things that we have programmed and I've noticed a lot of the other people in the classes around you are doing the same thing and they're understanding that when you start pressing those higher limits we may change the reps or shorten the range of motion but you're still progressing towards that and like I said especially on Saturdays because I get to see you a lot on Saturdays and a lot of the other group mm -hmm. you know people are doing more stuff on the GHDs and you know a lot of our ladies are, are doing more stuff upside down and uh -huh. so I love that you're showing everybody you know mm -hmm. this is okay right i mean you don't have to be perfect at it nope you just gotta keep doing it i think mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's what gives me the good workout yeah that mm -hmm. i'm here for right? right absolutely and that's mm -hmm. the name of the game yeah do you have any like big accomplishments that you're really proud of um running is a real weak spot for mm -hmm. me my whole life and um i saw that for this last July 4th, the uh, workout was, I think it started with like a, a mile and a half run. Yeah, it was like 18,000 or 2,000 meters or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. yeah, and that was the longest I've ever run. I ran the whole thing, 
I was not, I was one of the last ones, but I didn't walk at all and that was kind of the goal, is mm -hmm. to, to run through the whole thing and then I think we did something after that too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, a whole lot of push -ups So I was, I was kind of, you know, pumped for that because I did well for me right. in the run. So that was kind of an accomplishment. Cool. Very cool. I know we kind of touched on you getting started seeing me and Nina's video and a friend wanting to start, but Carl starting with you. But what was it that made you want to start? I mean, obviously the video gave you the idea of where, who we are, but mm -hmm. what were your initial goals? Mm -hmm. um, the initial goal was I was probably two weeks away from not fitting into any pants. Ah. It was getting really bad. I had really nothing else that I wanted to do physically. Um, I couldn't think of anything, and I knew I needed to do something. Um, and so I came here and, and found this. And one of the first things I think Nina told us this, was that the workout is, or actually she said, your nutrition is probably 80 or 90% yeah. of a weight loss. So I was a little put back on that. <laughs> I said, well, this isn't going to get me there, but, you know, I think one is going to support the other. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, if I want to be better at working out, I'm going to have to watch my nutrition. Right. You watch your nutrition, well, you know, you're going to work out better. And it, that becomes more fun. When, when yes. you're coming and busting your butt in the gym, it's a lot easier to convince yourself to do nutrition mm -hmm. better. Because mm -hmm. you, know, you don't want to waste the money or the effort. Right. Yeah. I mean, when we first started CrossFit, we certainly didn't eat well at all, especially me. I mean, Dave never ate really bad but I did and that's because I didn't cook I I didn't start mm -hmm. eating healthy for the first couple months though but like you said it was because I had gotten into the gym realized like yes I'm exercising I'm moving but I'm still not seeing the results that I wanted to see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so that's when I started really diving into right. nutrition yeah. Yeah. you don't want to like waste it yeah mm -hmm. I used to think you could go work out for an hour and eat a whole pizza uh -huh. that's how it works maybe when you're 16 yeah, yeah. right right yeah. Um, so was it kind of like um, you were two weeks away from your your pants not fitting, uh -huh. and then you just saw the video, so it's like it, it was like perfect timing. And you're like, let's get in. It pretty much was. You yeah. know, the girl at work. You know, she's like, well, we can do it. You know, we, it was kind of lucky that we didn't find a place there because then I could only work out if I was working down there. Mm -hmm. Well. You know, now that I found a place close to where I live, I think that made you can come on Saturday. A lot of difference, spend right? Spend a little more right. time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Carl was very willing to do whatever I wanted to do to get you know right. healthy because right. he that's knew important. I wasn't happy. Yeah, that's important. Oh, what a wonderful husband! Oh, yeah. For sure. And it's kind of <laughs> funny because one of our newer members, Lucretia, who's like one of my favorites, yes, um, her sister-in-law was the one who was interested mm -hmm. and like dragged her along the sister-in-law did not want to join but lucretia like waited the sister-in-law left came back she's like i'm i'm in yeah. i don't want her to know <laughs> that i'm signing up <laughs> but sign me up she wants to surprise them yeah, with like yeah. her journey uh -huh. and then be like this is what i've been doing uh -huh. yeah. but same kind of thing like someone else convinced her to come right. and then she was the one who, yeah. who liked it cool mm -hmm. um is there anything that you think you can you'll share with other members something that maybe you didn't expect to find here but did mm -hmm. or uh something that you thought would be going on here that that did it mm -hmm. either one or both um i think it's really neat to just come to a class and you know i can't commit to like the same class time every day or even the same day but you kind of generally have sort of the same people that show up. So you, you just meet these people and they'll be at the class, but then it'll kind of rotate and there'll be other people that come in. And so it's really interesting to meet a lot of the people. And, um, and you know, like everybody, same goals. <laughs> yeah, once you start working out, you know, nobody cares that, you know, you, you're better or you're not. Right. Yeah. right. We, we had a coach meeting last night and we talked about you know, like the diversity we have in terms of the membership, people from all different ages, walks of life, you know, ethnicities, whatever. 
but yeah, once you start working out with them, like none of that really matters anymore. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, at first I was a little nervous of coming in like on the Saturday because a lot of times it's the um, partners or team and I think a lot of people feel like they're going to slow down somebody else, but you really don't. You just talk through who's going to do how many reps and um, you can work it out. Everybody seems to get a good workout no mm -hmm. matter what. And you mm -hmm. can always find a team. It's not like people yeah. don't want to be on your team or anything. Right. Yeah. And um, I agree with like meeting really cool people and, and Dave and I talk about this and, and Jason all the time about, you know, all the people we've met that we would have never, if it wasn't for this one common okay. denominator. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously we even met Jason through our old CrossFit gym, which is what started our gym. But when I first started, I thought, you know, it's weightlifting, and I didn't weightlift, and I was like, it's going to be all these meatheads, and it's like going to be a typical gym, and like, he was in a class, and I was like, I don't want to hang out with those guys, but they ended up being awesome, because like you said, it didn't matter what I could or couldn't do, it was, was I there with a positive attitude, doing my best, and mm -hmm. just have a fun time, right, you know, and as long as you're bringing those things, everybody else is like, all right, you're part of the group, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, and I think you said it perfectly earlier, you said with your run, you know, you you were the last one, but it was it was a big accomplishment for you, right? Mm -hmm. And no one even judged you, and I don't think anybody even came up to you and said, oh, you were last, sorry. Right. You know, like It wasn't like, a, <laughs> like that. It was all about your personal goal and your mm -hmm. personal accomplishment, and that's yeah. what I think makes this exciting, and it yeah. always like there's always that challenge mm -hmm. aspect of it, because you're in a class with other people, you're not really competing against them, right. you're competing against yourself, yeah. and your goal yeah. there was like, I'm going to run this run, and mm -hmm. you get done with it, even, you know, like you said, mm -hmm. you were last, but it was still that, right. I did it, and yeah. I did it the whole time, and yeah. that's, that's huge, mm -hmm. you know, and I love seeing that when people push themselves like that, that's what mm -hmm. motivates me, and mm -hmm. as a coach, I love it. Yeah. Right, yeah, I like to think about it like, you're competing against yourself, and everyone in class, you're not competing, they're there to support you, mm -hmm. you know, and you're there to support them. Instead of, you know, me versus you. Right. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, I say this a lot, too. The, the, what's nice about the group classes is, like we said, it's not that you're competing against them, but I've done personal training when we first started, and we've done some one-on-one -on -one stuff, and even when Foundations ends up with one person in Foundations, people definitely work out differently in a group setting than they do one-on-one. -on -one. No matter how many times I tell them that they... Uh -huh don't have to move that fast or they can just do what they're comfortable doing it's just it's like you can't picture it unless there's other people around so if you're someone who naturally would maybe take more breaks or not push as hard you're going to push harder if you're someone who always goes you know flat out and then dies in the first spot and you see people are like oh they're breaking theirs up into sets of 10 mm -hmm. or they're shaking mm -hmm. their legs out or they're you know resting for a second and going back at, I know I can do that too uh -huh. so it gives more people a visual when mm -hmm. they're in this group mm -hmm. setting like than faster than learning yeah um, I, I love it when we do foundations and there's three or more people in it because they they definitely feed off each other right i feel really terrible when we have one person right. and that's why i love when you come into foundations i'm like all right more people for them to uh -huh. see right. the, the totality of mm -hmm. this yeah yeah so then you want you to talk about your book club and then yeah. uh you're okay. part of the ambassador team too uh-huh so real quick why don't we touch on that just give people some information on that yeah. book club yeah gosh i think that's been almost a year now yeah, yeah it's been pretty nicole long. just put it out there said you know who, who wants to be in a book club and so what we'll do is we'll meet um once a month the last thursday of the month that's this week that's this week hmm. and um at six o'clock i believe we're doing it and so for like an hour we just talk about the book that we had the month to read and then we vote on the next one and so you know everybody reads it or listens to it pretty much um, I've actually attended a few that I didn't read it and it was still fun <laughs> yeah. to, to listen to everybody mm -hmm. talk about the book and you talk about you know personal things that have happened to you that it's kind of related to the book so I think it's, I feel like it's a real book club. It's not just us getting together to talk and... No, I've, right. I've stopped yeah. in a few and it's it's like a little social group, you know? Yeah. It's cool yeah. to see it. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, it's what fun. kind of books? Like all different kinds? Yeah, sometimes we'll do novels, but then we'll do maybe some historical things or biography even. 
um, and some help self-help type things or yeah you did you guys did the power of habit last mm -hmm. month or the year, month before it might have been the month before yeah. what's this month's book it's called furious hours so it is a historical okay. one from the 70s do you have a clue on what next month is going to be or is that uh, not decided yet? It is not really decided. I think we do have one um, pitch in there. Okay. And I believe it's it's a novel. I think. Yeah, I saw someone throw it into the group. They mm -hmm. said they weren't going to make it. Um, now that some of my schedule has changed, it's back in the fall. I'm hoping to get back to the book club mm -hmm. on Thursdays. Yeah. yeah. Especially because we live in Racine now. Yeah. So it's even closer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you don't have to be proud of racing. You can come if you're. That's you know, right. You're, I just don't like driving. I'm just lazy. <laughs> yeah. I am not a commuter. I don't get how people commute in their life. I just I need to like it's be not right. Good. Where, no. I tell you. <laughs> well, you commute, right? Yeah. Yeah. How how far? Um, it's about fifty minutes or so. So. I go to Illinois. Anyone listening? Even if you drive for two hours a day, mm -hmm. you can still make time for yeah, you, what's you're important. Here, like, I mean, you make seven days a week pretty much. I mean, Sometimes. You're Sunday Sometimes to Sundays on yeah. Sundays yeah. for Pilates, and mm -hmm. your commitment is definitely something to... Uh, and that's part well, of the reason why it, you're... And it's because I have good support with Carl. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah, he, you need he to does, that. takes care of the food stuff pretty much, and um, I take advantage of the origin meals that you have you here yeah. um, so that I can eat a variety, and he doesn't have to cook for me because I'm not <laughs> going to. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> All right. So, um, I think our last thing there is what's next for you. What are you? What are your big goals? Hmm. Or little goals. Yeah, they can be little. Yeah. Well, mostly those those handstand things. I would say. Um, I would like to get better at rope climb. I Today's a perfect day for I it. I think I can. I can get better. I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Um, You're almost there. You're getting. You you can clamp it. A little bit. Yeah. Today's a perfect day to practice. Right. Yeah. It'll be, again, the, you know, fear of once you're getting high like that. Right. How do you get back down? Don't look down. Don't look down. Yep. <laughs> you just do whatever you did to get up, do the same exact thing in reverse. <laughs> That's how that works. I'm not a huge fan of the barbell yet. I'm not sure that I really will. I was going to say, well, after two years. There's a lot years. more gymnastics things I'd rather yeah. Be better at my two years. I think you'd know if you were going to be a fan of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's okay. You know, you don't have to go crazy on the weights. Just go light, something you're comfortable mm -hmm. with. And we do enough other stuff that you'll yeah. still see results. Yeah, my goal is the mobility and lean and mm -hmm. endurance. Yeah. Gotta, yeah, could work on that. Yeah, absolutely. I think that all the things that we do here gives people an opportunity to kind of train in whatever domain mm -hmm. they want. Yeah. So we can, you know, swap out the barbell for kettlebells or dumbbells. We can make it lighter. We can change the moves. I was just helping some girls in Kenosha yesterday, um, and they want to do workouts. I gave them an idea from a workout that David had given me last week. But due to the grip stuff, they're like, ah, we've had a lot of grip this week. And I was like, no, well, swap it for this. Like, it, like... It doesn't have to be one way right, all the time. Right. Like, and the coaches know yeah. all the mm -hmm. different things you can do. Mm -hmm. So all you have to yep. do is ask. Yeah. Yep. I used to be like, no, you got to hang from the bar because you need to develop your grip strength. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, whatever gives you a good workout and makes you leave satisfied and happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, for that. and with that, a lot of people have different things. You know, maybe somebody is always constantly walking around, so they've got a very active job. So maybe, I don't know, cardio things, not their jam, because they're like, I just want to relax and just chill through my workout. <laughs> or, you know, other people who are hairstylists and they don't want their hands to tear or rip. They don't want to hang from the bar. Mm -hmm. You know, we can definitely do other things. So, um, you know, realizing that everybody's outside lives are different, too, is super mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I have one follow-up or final question for you. Sure. How are those pants fitting today? Yeah. They're all new pants now. <laughs> they, so. They're fitting so good that you had to get smaller ones. Yeah. yeah. I guess that would be good. Mm -hmm. They still are bad fitting. 
but in a positive way. Yeah. Right, right. Awesome. <laughs> Lynn, thank you for being awesome. Um, no, thank, thank you, for, you guys. You've been doing awesome for the past two years. I love watching your journey. Um, I know you don't like to be the spotlight too much. <laughs> I've asked you several times to do uh, an interview, and you're like, no, I'm going to pass. But I appreciate you coming in for this. Um, good job on being a uh, member of the month. You All right. Truly kind of, I think, encompass our, our values. You know, the happy, healthy community, which we always preach about. And mm -hmm. That's what we kind of base each person on. And, and you've kind of gone out of your way to make sure you're going to those those um, foundations classes for people. And you really embraced mm -hmm. that ambassador role. And yeah. you've really helped us grow as even mm -hmm. owners and, and the yeah. gym as well. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank any you. questions or comments for us or anything you want to leave anybody with? Just try it and keep doing it. it yes. Yeah. Anybody can do it, I feel. Yeah. You yeah. Know, you just got to give it a shot. That was a dumbbell situation. The dumbbell situation? Remember a couple weeks ago? Yeah. Well, like, hey, we only got now you don't have the light ones. Well, oh. <laughs> so we need to talk about that. Wow. <laughs> We need to go. We need to get you another size. All right. All right. I was trying to make you guys all stronger. I know. Took them away. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. The issue is we only had like the three, right? Of the twenties. Yeah. There was three twenties and three you know, something. Fifteen. So yeah, long yeah, long crazy. We got crazy. those metal dumbbells passed down to us. We kind of inherited them when we. Can we down tonight? From Nate and Nina and then. Uh, Mm, okay. Yeah, as we grow, obviously equipment becomes, we need more, and mm -hmm. it was time to upgrade, so. Yeah. All right, so stay classy, Harvard Park. That wraps up another episode. All right, thanks, All guys. Right. Bye. Bye. All right, everyone, that wraps up another episode of Anchored. Remember, if you enjoyed this episode, please remember to share it with someone you know. Give us a five-star review on your listening platform that helps us reach more people and remember to subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode we'll talk to you guys later and stay classy thanks for listening to anchored at harbor park crossfit if you would like further information about our programs visit www.harborparkcrossfit.com we hope you'll tune in next time